all set now and racing away from the 1200. Nice start for them. First Origin hopped away well towards the inside. So too the Winter Lake on the stand side with Oz and Kerr. Between them is Teatro showing pace too. Back then towards the inside, whatever next. And Jewel Cat, Cool Winters towards the back end with Piroshkin, El Ray, Vienne. And about five, six lengths cover them. The Winter Lake goes past the 800, the leader from Oz and Kerr in second. First Origin is back there towards the inside. Teatro is racing away in fourth. Then came Jewel Cat. Poroshka's gone down the inside. Further back then to Cool Winton. Behind that is El Ray Vien. But it's the Winter Lake now with 400 metres left to go. First origin down the inside. Poroshka's on the far inside running on nicely. In behind those came Teatro. Towards the outside is Jewel Cat. First origin. Poroshka runs home strongly. Teatro's down the centre. Then the Winter Lake. But it's Poroshka that's picked up the advantage with 150 to go. On the outside, Teatro is a big danger now. And Teatro goes on from Poroshka. Teatro wins it. Poroshka second. Jewel Cat ran on strongly for third. The Winter Lake in behind that whatever next in El Rey Vienne. It's an upset result in the jackpot and pick six. Teatro comes through to record a third win. Found his best form today. And Chase Morjan has picked up a winner on the card. Beats home Poroshka in second. And on the outside, Jewel Cat finishing late on for that third position head of the Winter Lake. The running of race five, jackpot two opening leg over 1,200 metres, goes the way of the Alan Kreef yard with Teatro. Well, the Alan Kreef Yard find the winner's box. Chase Mojan, the lucky jockey, picks up the ride here and he really has grabbed it with both hands and uh, brought it through for the win. I've got to say a big thank you to Tabro who joins me here to collect the World Sports Betting Winning Groom Initiative of 1,500 Rand and it's going to be Shoes that celebrates that. Tabs, thanks very much. Chase coming on in, he's going to grab his mic there and uh, come have a chat, all smiles having found the winner's box and uh, that's how it should be. And Chase, in fairness, you would have known um, a very little bit a, to close to nothing about him <laughs> because um, you pick up ride, you don't normally ride for the Allen Craft Yard, what were your instructions? No instructions. Yep, that sounds about right. Did you know it's a ride? Go, go, down, ride. So. go down slow, <laughs> come back fast. No, the race worked out perfectly, Nadia. Yeah. Um, he hopped up beautifully. The two other horses have more speed. I got a beautiful lead the whole way through. And when I pulled out, he quick enough smartly. He certainly did. Now, that's something, in fairness, his recent form actually isn't his best. Maybe he just went off the boil and he's bounced back to himself because the ability is there. But we did see him in a couple of previous races where he'd move up well and just lack that bit. But you got it all out of him today. I don't need that. You have to ask the question to Kriff. He knows it was better than me. I just yeah. picked it up. But just a big thanks to my first winner for Sir Kriff. Oh, fantastic. He's given me a few chances, but uh, it's funny I could get one over the line. Well done for that. And, um, yeah, it's the start of the new season, first winner. So I'm very happy, and thanks to him for the chance. Well, congratulations on that, and well done for breaking the duck with Adam. Thank you. And to my sponsors, well done. And to everyone last season for the support. Yes. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Well done, Chase. There you go. Not too much more Chase can say. He didn't know the horse, uh, but uh, didn't stop him. He's delivered him perfectly this afternoon. And, Alan, this is a horse, in all fairness, he found a nemesis when he was in his full racing swing in the way of Slim Yanni. And though he tried, he just couldn't best him. He paid dearly with the points moving up in the merit rating. And... Although we felt that he might need to drop, apparently the handicappers are spot on, and here he is in the winner's box. Yeah, um, I don't know if this is a allowed to say it, but I'll stop at it. But he was definitely Slim Yanni's... Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he was always running second to Slim Yanni, and uh, it was frustrating. He but, uh, you know, every time he ran second, he gained a couple more points. But uh, today he uh, made amends and won a yeah. nice race. Very well done to Chase, deputising for Charlie in his absence. Chase doesn't get too many rides from me. He's normally there and thereabouts, but yeah. he hasn't ridden a winner. So well done to him, to Hollywood Syndicate, Anthony Dalpesh and his team. Very well done to all of them. And um, Richmond Highlands, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, you are him. spot on. Um, so well done to everybody concerned. First winner of the season, got the duck off our back. Yep, and onwards and upwards. Well Thank done. You. <laughs>
Definitely reiterate Alan's congratulations there to Ridgemont Highlands as well as to the Hollywood Syndicate on the victory here for Teatro. He really is a superb looking son of Canford Cliffs. Glad to see him bounce back to his very best. Definitely not short of the ability to win a race like this. He had just wandered off form, but wow, he's come back with a bang this afternoon under Chase Mujan.